Hey everybody, this is a quick impressions video for the Legend of Zelda 30th anniversary concert album. A lot of people have been really excited for this release, with people even wondering if it would outdo Symphony of the Goddesses, which is a totally asinine assumption. I was actually quite worried from the beginning about it, because from the details I was getting, it wouldn't be much different from the anniversary album that came before it. Like I said, a lot of people have been excited, but again, I don't really know where that excitement is coming from. So I thought I'd do this video in case anyone was in the same situation that I was in and was apprehensive about buying it. Suffice to say I got it and even paid the extra 20 bucks for the special edition, which comes with a DVD of most of the concert and some pins all featured in a nice box. Seriously, this is the box of the year. It's got a nice weight to it, nice little texture. It smells good. It smells like a nice plastic forest. It's good. I've sniffed it several times. I mean, I usually don't go for these pre-order incentive deals unless they come out with something really cool like, I don't know, a stuffed alien or a Yomega Yo-Yo. So why did I get it? Because it also came with a CD stand with 8-bit link holding a conductor's baton. Why was that the straw to break the camel's back? I have no clue. That was the one thing that did it. That got me to pay 50 bucks for the stand. Yay. I like to live up to the title of Quick Impressions, so should you buy the album? I really don't know. The selection of pieces is what really knocks the wind out of my enthusiasm for this. I still can't figure out as to why the symphonic suite for Link's Awakening or Spirit Tracks or Majora's Mask or the Dungeon Medley aren't on here. There's no way it could be a licensing issue. They own the music. The only possible explanation they don't have these pieces on here is because it either completely slipped their mind or they don't want to sabotage the Symphony of the Goddesses tour. I can understand if it's the latter, but couldn't they have at least played a few of them? Spirit Tracks and the amazing orchestral rendition of Ballad of the Goddess would have been enough to validate this entire purchase, but instead they leave it up to bonus items to save them. Which I completely fell for, because I had to have that freaking stand. I basically paid 60 bucks for a stand. It was adorable. I had to have it. it yeah. So is it a complete miss? No, the selection and performances of the pieces aren't bad. This is more a case of missed opportunities. Hyrule Castle and Zelda's Lullaby are the two first pieces on here. They're good. They're both very short, but they make for nice opening fanfares. Both pieces are available elsewhere, except maybe Zelda's Lullaby. So it's nice to hear a complete, just simple orchestration of that piece, but... They're nice pieces to start. Track 3 is when the Wind Waker movement happens, and it's pretty much exactly as you remember it. This is when you pretty much figure out that, yeah, this is kind of really building off of the 25th, 25th anniversary album that came with Skyward Sword as a free bonus gift. It's kind of like I'm paying for that free bonus gift now. That's kind of what it feels like to buy this album in some respect. So like I said, the Wind Waker movement pretty much sounds exactly as you remember it. If you're like me and have listened to it about 200,000 times, you'll notice the very slight differences in this performance. They won't irk you, but you'll notice them. Certain sentences or phrases get dragged out a bit, but it's very small. Track 4 is strange. The host of the concert announces a theme or melody in which the orchestra then plays. It's neat, but not something you'll come back to often. Although I do like hearing the orchestrated version of... Lon Lon Branch, even if I did like the string-heavy version a bit more in Hyrule Symphony. Triforce Heroes and A Link to the Past then share a medley. It's weird to have two games share one piece in terms of its music in this fashion, but it may be the highlight because this piece isn't available anywhere else and it's a lot of fun. This is kind of the approach they should have taken with this soundtrack. It's no Link's Awakening, but this and the boss medley that follows after are much welcome additions. The final track is a cheat. <laughs> it's the credit music to Skyward Sword, which has been available elsewhere forever. That, and it was already orchestrated. It's a marvelous piece, but that's sort of the problem. It's played better in the game than it is here. For instance, I think it's the theme of Skyloft that they played at one point. It's a calm, melodic tune, and when it concludes, there's a great moment where the brass section comes in, stretching and growing from something of a yawn to a much more dramatic uh, poise. In this concert version, they drag it out a bit more, and it sounds nice, but I'm just kind of... This is the one where I'm kind of 
used to hearing it the way that I originally that I originally did. Just a bit disappointing hearing this one, even though they do a really good job. I've just gotten too used to the game version that I've listened to many, many times. The second disc is the 30th anniversary medley, and it's completely different from the previous two 25th anniversary medleys, of which there were two versions of that. This one, though, doesn't melodically transition from one piece to another, and the pieces they have are kind of random. Though it's really nice to hear the dungeon theme from Link's Adventure and the theme from Awakening. Even if the latter really makes me depressed, there isn't more of it here. I highly recommend you seek out a high-quality version of the Symphonic Suite for Link's Awakening. It's got a nice Spanish bravado to it, from what I remember. I don't know, it's a great piece, and the brass section is one of the best parts about it. But yeah, that's the album. Put up the cheapest heck scorecard. There you go. Oh, look at that. You get the box. You get the pins. You get the DVD. You get the CD stand of Link holding the baton for the special idiots out there who would buy it 60 bucks solely for that reason. We'll throw in a tingle amiibo because no one's buying that. You get the camera. You get the printer. 4X optical zoom. Schneider lens, photo printer, SD card. Look at that horse. So yeah, the thing with this album is I didn't really have the greatest of expectations to begin with. But this is something you kind of just get if you're a fan of orchestral music or the Zelda series, of which I am both. There is a cheaper version, which is pretty much just the soundtrack, and the more expensive version, which comes with all the extra stuff. Um, honestly, I would buy the $50 version, even though I'm not big on this album, just because you get a much greater product. I think that was even the game that was being played here, because if you get the $30 version, you really don't need the soundtrack, because you get, you get most of it with the 25th anniversary bonus disc. And if Symphony of the Goddesses ever decides to come out with an album, it's really going to make this one be a bit less significant. So that's why I say you get the $50 version, because then you at least get a full product. You get a whole bunch of extra merch, as well as it makes for a good 30th anniversary celebration for the Zelda series, unless you also plan on buying a Switch and Breath of the Wild. So, and that's, and that brings me to another topic, which is, again, it's mystifying enough that they don't have any pieces, and all they needed was one or two just one or two random pieces from Symphony of the Goddesses. But there's also the, the... They played two extra pieces that aren't on this soundtrack in the concert. I forget what one of them was. But another one was the main theme, or at least the theme that played in the first trailer for Breath of the Wild. And you have to have that in there. Why is that not included? Again, it can't be licensing issues. You're not spoiling anything. Just play the main theme from Breath of the Wild. Include the newest piece of Zelda music in the 30th anniversary album. And that's a complete missed opportunity. And that's kind of what this equals up to. This was Seth. This was just a quick impressions video, as quick as I can make it. If you really want to hear me talk more about Zelda music in a bit more full detail, then you can check out the final note review on the 25th anniversary album, which was the, fifth, was, was the first video that I ever did. Um, so check that out if you're interested. This was a quick impressions video. Check out the rest of the channel if you like what you see. I'll be doing a whole bunch of stuff. More Final Note reviews, more Final Note interviews coming out, as well as more VGA highlights, since I know most people like that more than anything <laughs> that I do. But that's fine. I just make things, you know. I don't really care if anybody watches them. I just like to make them. And if people do watch them then that, that makes me even a happier camper. Peace out, everybody. I hope this was helpful.